okay so i hope um, you understood the um, uh, upper extremity venous drainage and the last thing you need to understand if the patient has congestive heart failure that means the right atrial pressure goes up when the right atrial pressure goes up then superior vena cava inferior vena cava even the coronary sinuses from the heart they cannot drain their blood into the right atrium right atrium says hey i am full my pressure is higher than you i cannot take your blood so as a result so there is congestion in the internal jugular vein external jugular vein subclavian vein and there's a axillary vein then brachial vein and followed by all vein in the upper uh, arm and forearm so pressure gradient is reverse now the flow is always from higher pressure to the lower pressure and when the proximal pressure is up so all will be back up and back up means back up back up means congestion and the high pressure follow prolonged time followed by ulceration pigmentation ulceration okay so now brachiocephalic vein is considered as a central one of the central vein subclavian vein is considered as one of the central vein the jugular vein is considered as a central vein okay and these are the veins and the ivc svc are considered as a central vein because they are close to the right atrium any veins they are close to the right atrium they have bidirectional waves bidirectional waves that means they go forward and backward forward and backward you will see the wave goes above the baseline below the baseline below the above the baseline okay it happens to the hepatic veins the inferior vena cava superior vena cava the um, brachiocephalic vein jugular vein subclavian vein axillary vein all those are considered as central vein and this shows bidirectional flow okay if there is a loss of bidirectional flow then you need to understand that there is something wrong and the most common wrong is congestive heart failure increase of pressure in the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava okay and all will be back up okay so that's all for today and the next time we'll uh, discuss couple of uh, the disease condition of the venous system in the upper extremity and then we will uh, uh, move forward with some uh, typical or specific points of discussion about the upper extremity vasculature okay thank you very much for your attention thank you